Gonna take the stairs. This elevator's going way too damn slow, dude. I'll meet you down there, dude. Probably Just be there. Hurry before. up. Yeah, you'll make it probably before I'm due. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tika's Trading Post, the definitive Star Wars talk show where we, we talk about products. Yeah! Gonna hit you with a one two because we got a Star Wars Black Series two pack coming at you from Amazon.com. This is the definitive return of the Carbonized Collection. Yes, Star Wars is coming back with the Carbonized Collection. They have a Return of the Jedi Royal Guard and a Return of the Jedi TIE Fighter Pilot. Uh, I was really interested in the Royal Guard here, but then I saw that the price was $69.99, and um, yeah. that's not the $69 I'm looking for, so I'm gonna pass on this one. It's the holiday season, and the uh, Holiday Mandalorian figure, if you didn't get your hands on it already, is available for pre-order on Target.com. Here it is, look how pretty it is. Mm. Coming to a Target near you are all of the brand new Andor figures. Make sure to be checking your Target to see if these are coming out where you are. The Critic Collection Ahsoka figure from The Mandalorian is also hitting stores right now, so for all three of you that were planning on getting this figure, now is your chance. Oh, TVC collectors, you want this? You want this? Oh, oh, you can't have it. Well, apparently you can now. The TVC Kenner Boba Fett was available on Target earlier this week. And uh, hope you got it so you can stop crying about not having this one. To conclude the Empire Strikes Back two pack of retro TVC figures, such as seen here, is Zuckus and Forlaw. Similar to the actual release of these figures, when Empire Strikes Back came out, the names on the card backs are reversed. No, this is not an Hasbro issue, it is a callback to that very historical moment for Star Wars. This is usually the part of the show where I come out and make fun of you nematodes for purchasing $11 stagnant action figures that come in a big old box. But I actually kind of like this one, so you guys get a pass for today. You get a pass. Remember this. This week, Iron Studio showed off both a Luke Skywalker and a Darth Maul premium statue. Now, both of these look amazing quality, and the detail on them is pretty dope. I will not be picking them up, but I would recommend that if you are a collector of statues that you definitely should. This is a day that I've been waiting for for a very long time, and it is finally the official release of the Hot Toys 1-6 scale ATRT. Now, when I saw this guy come out with the ARF Trooper, I was really, really worried that the price was gonna be between $550 and $600, but we have found out that it is actually only $435, so hurry up, go get the ATRT, and add it to your Hot Toys 501st collection. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't want the ARF Trooper, but you just wanted the ATRT, you can get that by itself, and it's only $290, another really great price from Hot Toys. Mason jar, cancel that. You're gonna need a Mason barrel for this Bo-Katan hot toy that just got revealed by SciShow Collectibles. Holy cow, is the detail on this amazing. Definitely might cop in the near future. I probably will. Columbia's got the best way to keep your titties toasty this holiday season with an up and coming Star Wars Columbia collaboration based around the Clone Wars. Now I gotta say, I am broke as a joke but I'm going to try to invest some schmackaroos into this collection because the Boba Fett last year was really cool and I really liked it, but I had no money for it. But um, this is the Clone Wars. This is literally unpassable. I'm really hoping it's gonna be about that one arc where Senator Chuchi was there and they all had like their old little, their cozy little coats on with a Republic symbol on it. That'd be absolutely ludicrously dope. So I'm hoping it's that. But if it's not, I'm still gonna buy it. At least I'll try, I don't know. Our Cash App and Patreon and uh, everything is linked below. So if you wanna help a homie out. For my pickups this week, I got the Black Series Fixer. This guy looks freaking fantastic. Really hoping we get Scorch to wrap up the Delta Squad. For my pickups this week, I got the Jedi Fallen Order B1 Battle Droid. Holy cow, this is amazing. We'll do a review on it in the near future to talk about how awesome it is. And in even more awesome news, I got this amazing custom 1313 Clone Trooper from Commander Cook. Thank you so much, dude, for making this for me. It's like totally awesome. We talked about this a little bit in our main show but check out our Discord as well for some amazing photos that he ended up doing before he sent this my way. I got this completely genuine Lego Captain Rex. It's actually not. Um, my mom found this at some craft show that she went to and she's like, you want it? And I said, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Tika's Trading Post, the most definitive Star Wars Black series and Star Wars product show on the internet. We thank you so much for watching this and we hope that you enjoyed. And also, if you're feeling spicy and you really want to, Make sure that you follow us on all of our social media, that being Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. 
Also, if you want to go above and beyond in supporting the podcast, make sure that you support us on Patreon. Patreon is the best way to directly fund the podcast in a way that's meaningful to us and meaningful to you. Because if you are in our Dungan Boss tier, we do a giveaway at the beginning of every month. And next month, we're going to be giving away the Black Series John Favreau figure. This figure is absolutely ludicrous, and um, I'm super excited for it. I really hope that you guys enjoy <laughs> this giveaway. <laughs> and finally, if you want to join our Discord, we have an amazing community of people in our Discord all the time that are always talking about Star Wars and they're really cool. So if you like to talk about people that are, like Star Wars, you should join our Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Tika's Training Boss. We will see you guys next time. Goodbye!